Hey there, this is a short video to walk through how to modify uh, the code for a text box in a leaflet map. Um, this is a map that's been created in QGIS, and so um, we exported it using the QGIS to web um, tool to a leaflet map. We've got a map box base layer underneath it, and we're going to um, figure out how to modify the text box here. So um, this is a map of uh, the ratio of um, tips to fares for taxi rides in New York City in 2016. And you'll see if we click on a um, text box right now, we just got a list of numbers. Um, we can tell what some of these, these look like Latin long coordinates. We can see what they kind of are, but then some of these other numbers just don't make sense. And so we want to make this something more intelligible. Um, you could do this in QGIS. There's ways to modify things in the QGIS web extension before you do it. What we're going to do is take a look at it as um, a coding problem. So this is the underlying script. If I go to uh, the folder that has um, these web files, you'll see there's a lot of different stuff in here. We're just opening this index file, which is the home page. Um, the, the actual web file that we're looking at. It looks something like this, and we scroll down until we see where the, the pop-up content shows up, which here is on line 48 or so. And then you'll see here, if you know HTML at all, you'll see this is formatted as a table. And so you've got a table header at the beginning, and then these rows of the table that are set apart with these TRs, and then within that some content that goes in each row of the table. And if we want to adapt the map, it's actually pretty straightforward. We go into this quoted area right here that has um, some HTML code and nothing else right now, and we can say add a header. So here we've got the, the left field, which we don't really want um, listed. So this just returns, this part returns whatever the value is in the column that has a left at the top. There's also bottom, right, and top. Um, and we just add left here. And if we go ahead and save this map, then we go back to our web page and we're going to refresh it. And if I click on here, I'll now see left is listed here, right? And it's, you know, not ideal. It's still a little wide. We'll, we'll deal with that. Um, but if I go back here, I could, for instance, make this bold. You can make it bold by um, just adding a B here and then a slash B here to end it. Um, you can look up HTML basics if you want to to figure out how to do this. So now when I go back to this map, if I click on here, now I've got left is bold. Okay, we're getting there. If I wanted to really um, do some stuff with it, I can just get rid of a bunch of these rows. So what if I only want the count of fares, um, which is going to be down here. Tip fare count is what I want. And make sure you keep everything when you're doing this. Um, you want to keep the whole TR to TR. So you want to keep this whole thing here. So I could, for instance, do bold count of rise like that. And then I've got tip fair count, which is the field that I've got that's got the count of observations. And then I also want to have, I'm going to just select by line here, the one that's tip fair median, which is the median value for a ratio of the um, tip to the fare. I could also include the actual tip and the actual fare if I wanted to. Um, I'm not doing that in this case. Um, so like the median tip and the median fare, something like that. So I'm going to do this. Uh, ratio of fare to tip, or tip to fare. Something like that. And actually, not this to median ratio of tip to fare for all rides. I'm going to get rid of all these other numbers here that I don't really care about. So I've got these two rows of my table. There's row one, there's row two. I've got the table start, stable end. I'm going to go ahead and save this. Go back to my map here. I'm going to refresh it. And now when I click on this, there we go. It's looking a little bit better. I'm going to want to, um, this is still bolded. I want to get rid of that. Um, Ideally, I'd play around with the way that the pop-up looks, but this is okay for right now. You can see here the problem in that is that I didn't have a close B here. Slash B will get rid of this. And now I've got something I can kind of work with, and it certainly makes more sense than what I had before. So count of rise 674, and there's the ratio of tip to fare. I could try to um, edit down this number and make it smaller, and that might work a little bit better as well. Um, but this works for now. So you get the basic idea. There's all sorts of other stuff you can edit in here if you want to in terms of the way that the pop-up 
um, looks, you could change the max height. That's where you, I think this is where you would change the, the width of the pop-up as well. But for now, this works okay. Um, so hopefully this is helpful.